Hello everybody, my name is Kill Corone and welcome back to the channel. Tonight will be clear and I'll be going to a Bortle 4 Class Sky uh, area. Um, I really want to shoot M31 from a dark sky so tonight's my opportunity. It will be a full moon, 98% um, to be, ex be exact. I might wash out the sky a bit but I think it'll be it's going to be okay. Um, I'm going to be shooting unfiltered so no filter at all um, get that really natural star color and the natural like broadband uh, colors in the galaxy so I won't be shooting nebula tonight that's that's a surprise uh, it's Andromeda season now so uh, once that rises I'm gonna plate solve to it and we're gonna start shooting it so I'll catch up with you guys when I get there and uh, I'll talk more about what we're doing I apologize for no uploads. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, come along with me to shoot M31. I haven't shot this since uh, I started astrophotography. That was the first target I picked. It was easy, uh, well, easy in the beginning, and um, I'm really excited to get back and shoot it. Uh, I want a proper photo of it. I want a decent photo of Andromeda. Um, Obviously, I wasn't happy with my old ones. Well, when I started, I was. I was like, damn, I can do much better. So, uh, it's going to be awesome. It also fits really well in the frame. Like, it like it's, it takes up the whole frame. So, I got to, like, play with it to get uh, that dark dust. Or not dark dust, the, uh, the outer dust. So, uh, I'll catch up with you guys later. Join me to shoot M31. Okay, so I'm here at the Portal 4 class. This guy's, um, it's getting dark. Um, so we're gonna get shooting soon. It's getting real dark. I'm gonna set up the laptop. This might be a short video because this is so much going on right now and you got, I got here pretty late, so it's, it's okay. It's the GPS's fault. So um, yeah, we're gonna start. I'm gonna set up the laptop and we're gonna get started. The skies are really clear, but I also think of the, for the forest fires, but it's not that bad really, like it's not like, like terrible, so um, I think I can see Venus right there, it's really awesome, but it is not terrible, the, the sky's blue, the sun was bright, uh, so that means it's, it's good, I, I like this, so Andromeda should be right there, north is right here, so uh, we're gonna get started, I'm gonna get my stuff set up, so I'll be back. Okay, I apologize if it's really dark, but uh, I got a thing set up, laptop set up. It's getting dark, I don't know if you can see the stars, uh, but it is dark. I am not used to this at all, but I, I'm excited. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm excited. Uh, it's clear as heck, I love it. Milky Way is going to be right there, hopefully I get to see the Milky Way. Bordel 4. Excitement. Okay, you probably can't even see me, but uh, tonight I'll be shooting with the Xenostar 61 April Refractor. I've got the um, EQM, the Skywatcher EQM 35 Pro mount. And for the camera, I'll be using the 183 MC Pro cooled camera. I've got the 120mm mini for the guide, the guide camera, the uni guide scope for the guiding. And I've got the EAF, so the Electric Autofocuser by ZWO. Uh, tonight I'll be shooting M31. So it's going to be exciting. It's getting real dark here. I'm ner I'm kind of scared. It's really dark. <laughs> it's scary. But um, I'm going to get this laptop going. The battery's full, fully charged. I'm a polar line. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm north. I, point, I use the compass, but uh, we're going to get started in a minute. I apologize for this short video, but uh, it's been a long day, so I'm excited. Oh, I gotta use my phone light for 
that lighting here. But for the uh, for the program, I'm going to be using Nina. Um, great program. I've been using it. Uh, I think it's my third night using it, and it's great. So uh, we're going to be using that tonight. Um, got all the cables here. Cable management kind of sucks. Guys, I I I apologize for the light, but it is not even fully dark yet. And I can see stars that I can never see at home. Like, it is incredible. I can see Ursa Minor. I've, I've never seen Ursa Minor. I've never seen the small, like the little dipper. I can see the big dipper clearly right now. I see, I see Cygnus. The Milky Way is right there. It's not fully, I can't see it fully yet. But uh, it's not fully dark yet. And there's just so many stars already. Oh, I'm, I'm excited for when it's fully dark. I didn't even start the battery yet. I don't want to use all the power yet. But um, I am, I am. I can see Cassiopeia, the Andromeda Galaxy is right there. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's right there. Holy crap! I'm excited. There's bugs everywhere. I brought the Star Adventure, but I forgot uh, the batteries. But that's okay, cause. I'm, I'm focused on one thing, so I'm excited, man. I am excited. Sorry for this weird video, but it is crazy. I'll, I'll get back to you guys when it's fully dark, all right? And I'll show you guys subs and everything, so I'll see you guys in a minute. It is completely dark, and I can see everything. I can see Jupiter coming up. I can see so many stars. It's actually scary. Like the Milky Way is right here. I can't tell if I I can see it. I see this 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 milky like I don't know how to explain it. It's so pretty. It's so beautiful. I'm just warming the camera again. I had some issues here with Nina, but I finally got it here. Um, I'm gonna salute the target. It is so beautiful here. I'm, I apologize for this weird video, man, but it is beautiful out here. Like, it's so awesome. I'm so excited. Thank you guys for staying here with me and watching. This is awesome. I'll show you a sub when it's done. Okay, so here's a single sub on the Andromeda Galaxy. Looks pretty awesome. The moon is up now. Um... So it's kind of washing out the sky, but uh, it still looks amazing. I won't stay much longer, but uh, hopefully we get a decent photo of the Andromeda Galaxy. If not, that's fine. At least we came out and experienced it. But uh, it's pretty in there. There's the companion galaxy, another companion galaxy in there. Then you got the Andromeda Galaxy. It's pretty awesome. Hopefully this comes out decent. I'm not very good at processing uh, galaxies, but we'll see. Is that, is that a dust spot right there? That's a big boy. But uh, hopefully I can edit that out. But uh, this is how it's looking. It's pretty good.